Do you need help in your relationship? Or maybe your relationship is going great and you just want to strengthen the bond between the two of you. In any case, tune in to Ask Mama E, a show intended to assist in creating and keeping the strongest relationships. Join and watch Mama E, the relationship expert, using her wisdom to guide others into forming stronger bonds. Hi, everybody. This is Mama E again. We are so excited and pleased to be able to have my special guest with me today. We were just talking about the fact that I've known them for the greater portion of their lives. Amen. <laughs> I, I am so grateful that they have something that they can share with the generation that's following them. So I take a little bit of credit, you know, uh, the fact that they saw something in my generation that would say to them, there's something I can pass on. So my guest today, do I have to call you all titles? And stuff? No. Okay, all right. God, so no. this is Derek Mercy, yeah, Stephen right. Rue. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Call my <laughs> name. <laughs> and I wanted to make sure no, that you were acknowledged, no, you know, for, right. for who you are. No, I'm fine. Uh, your I'm role dead. today, though, is not pastor mm. and businessman mm. and all of those things. Yes, I was excited to be able to have somebody from your generation share about fatherhood. Yes, you know, we're just passing mm. Father's Day and I'm a little bit concerned because, you know, I've got four generations under me and I've got great grandchildren now. And the world that they're growing up in is different yes, from the world in which I raised my children. Yes, ma'am. But I have to believe that God has sent you all. Yes, ma'am. You know, yes, ma that you won't have to do necessarily the way we did it. Yes, ma'am. But there are things that I'm hoping you can share today with those fathers of your generation. Yes, you know, um, I, I hear us talking a lot about, about Black Lives Matter, and they do, mm -hmm. but there's so much that we have to contribute mm -hmm. to making sure those lives matter. Yes, ma'am. You know? Yes, ma yes, so ma with that being the case, we want to just talk a little bit about your experiences as fathers. So um, tell me a little bit, I'll tell you what, both of you, Tell the audience uh, the ages and genders of your children. His kid's is old. I'm going to let him go. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's my homeboy, too, now, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, um, my son, he's 14. He's going to the ninth grade high school. Good stuff. Wow. He's a handful. <laughs> <laughs> Does he remind you of you at, at 14? Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. All right. So, you know, they say you get it back. All it's right. However, <laughs> you suck. Just understand. Oh. And, and Derek, what, what about you? My boy, I have twin boys. Uh, my boys are seven. They'll actually be eight in July. July okay. the 10th. They turn eight years old. And uh, like my, my homeboy said, yes, they are a hand. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Do you see any similarities between you, not the world that you grew up in, mm -hmm. but you as an individual? Mm -hmm. Do you see some of those characteristics in your children? Certainly. Yes, ma'am. Tell, tell me, because you know, most of the time when they say you act like your mama, you mm -hmm. act like your dad, mm -hmm. we don't want to hear it. Mm -hmm. But if you live long enough, yes, you'll, see you'll see some of those things, Certainly. you know, yes, good and bad. Yes, ma'am. You know, Absolutely. Uh, I have a, 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 one of my daughters is, uh, I'm trying to find a tactful way to put it. Well, she is what I tried to beat out of her. Is that all right? All right. Stuff that I just thought, you know, you talk too much, you always got to have the last word. But, you know, at some point, and I don't know about what age she was, but at some point I realized that you can't beat out mm -hmm. what God put in. Mm. And see, that's what I've been dealing with the last couple of years, like beat him, talk to him. Make him go outside and do some kind of drills or something in the heat. Yeah. Because you, you, uh, especially for uh, well, kids, period, they get to a certain age, mm -hmm. all that stuff ain't going to work. Yeah, exactly. That don't work. Exactly. And, and it might make, you don't know what you're bringing up in them. Yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. So, I am glad you've that's learned good. it now. That's good. You know, because I'm even noticing my great-grands are 
they range in age from five to two months, mm -hmm. all right? But the five-year-old and the four-year-old, it's almost like they position themselves to get ready for you to pop them. Mm -hmm. Mm. And after a while, popping don't matter. I you know, that. they know you ain't going to kill them. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> they learned that much at age four and five. So uh, my younger sister snuck, uh, <laughs> snuck out of the house mm -hmm. to go to the prom because we weren't allowed to go to the prom. Okay. She snuck out. And I, being the, the little tender-hearted one, I was scared mama going to find out, daddy going to yes, find out. And he, she said, but I will have already been. <laughs> so I'll get away from when I get back, but I already been. <laughs> And that kind of yeah. logic yeah. is now in four-year-olds. Yeah, it's true. It's who true. Who are thinking, okay, so what's the worst that can happen? Yeah, my son Ashton, uh, one of the things is for me, he, Ashton has a lot of my uh, personality. Uh, Amar in, in, in more conservative settings has my demeanor. Okay. So he's very observant. Uh -huh. But Ashton has a lot of my personality as it relates to me, no strangers, very interactive. Mm -hmm. But I, I can always remember growing up, I didn't like school. Okay. I, I don't want to go to school unless I have a good time. <laughs> I want to go laugh. I don't right. want, I don't care nothing about this work. <laughs> I, I want to go laugh. I'm ready to play. Yeah. And so one particular day, we were doing homework, and I was like, you know, come on, we got to get this done. And so he was going and going. He's like, he's like, Daddy, can I, can I just, I'm, I'm I'm ready to just stop. I'm ready to play. Mm -hmm. I said, no, sir. Mm -hmm. You're going to finish this, then you can play. He said, I have an idea. He said, if you just give me the answers, oh. <laughs> I can be finished. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I mean, it's true, yeah, yeah, right. but dude. Uh -huh. <laughs> Give them credit for thinking. Yeah, I do. It's I really like thinking. Inquiring minds need to know. All right? So even if you don't agree with it. Yes, them, right. Right. Absolutely. But he thought the thing through. Mm -hmm. Say, I come up with a suggestion. Conflict resolution. What are the conflict, conflict resolution? Yeah. Well, a lot of kids nowadays, they tend to have that in them. Mm -hmm. I don't think we even thought about it. No. Yeah. Was, yeah. It was what I said. That's, That's it. Right. You know, right. So. What did right. I say? And, yeah. and I think. That is one of the major differences. Mm. We weren't allowed to think. Mm. All right? So good. We were not allowed to have an opinion. Mm -hmm. And so, therefore, you had to learn it on your own yes, at some later date. Yes, ma'am. So that meant by the time we were 17, 18, 19, we were finding out things yes, that it was trial and error, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. And these, even if they decide to do it, mm -hmm. they will have the answers in front of them. Yes, ma'am. To be able to say, I'm going to do this because I could do this or this, mm -hmm. but this is what works for me. Yes, ma'am. You know? Yes, ma'am. So tell me a little bit about how both of you have, uh, you're not only children. So tell me how you think. You and your siblings differ from the generation, your children. What you say, bro? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> differ. Uh, I would say mentally mm -hmm. and emotionally, we're more prepared, mm -hmm. tough, mm -hmm. stable okay. than a lot of kids nowadays. Okay. Um, Why? And that's such a good point. Mm -hmm. Why is. are they coming along where they have everything? You know, and we've tried to make sure that they don't suffer, that they don't do without anything. Why is it that they're not stable? I think in some regards to that is what I will say that also that was good from the generation before us, that I think in some aspects we fail to bring to them. I think in some ways we've tried to kind of give them what we didn't have. Yeah. Instead yeah. of also making sure that we give them what we did have right. also. Yeah. So we have to create aspects of earning. Right. I, I remember mm -hmm. reading an article um, about Shaquille O'Neal. Uh -huh. and, and he said in this article, he said that he's told his sons, he said, this, this, I, I'm rich. Okay. You're yeah, not. Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what you can do is uh -huh. you can come up with a business plan, yeah. make it worthwhile, and then I will invest. Uh -huh. So you still have the backing. You still yes. have the support. And so whereas in, mm -hmm. you know, we grew up, you got to get it. Yes, yes. You know, my daddy, you couldn't sleep past nine. Right. I, I still remember mm. to this day. I, my daddy bust in the door. 
I slept. I, I was so tired. And I, it's like automatically I knew. My dad just bust in the door. Right. I fell on the floor and act like I was picking up something. <laughs> because I was so scared. <laughs> Yeah, he was, I was like, mm. I was like, he was like, oh, I'm just making sure you up. <laughs> and I, you know, it was embedded in me. What yes. they, they, what they put, and I look at my homeboy, who, yes. you know, this is this is my long time, this is my childhood friend, yes. and there's not a time I don't see my brother. We we always agree, we always, but I, I think about like our fathers was about, you know, you need to hustle, you yes. need to work, you yes. need to, you listen, you need to yes. get out there. Don't come here with that lazy stuff. Yes. Yeah. Cut yeah. some grass. Right. You, you need to figure it out. Uh, right. um, but uh, sometimes they did that without giving you the support. And sometimes you, they kind of let you fall. You had to suffer. Yeah. They let yeah. you out there. Well, as we were kind of like, I want you to make sure you know right. we supporting you. We supporting you. We support you. But we don't make you earn. Yeah. yeah. And, and I, I think that as much as it is important for them to learn the value of yes, work, yes, you know, but what we also don't want to forget is the relationship between parent and child. Mm. There will come a time when your relationships will change. Yes. Okay. Wow. But when they are in their formative years, mm -hmm. the relationship must remain mm -hmm. what that first one was. Yes. And that's daddy to child. Mm -hmm. I used to think sometimes uh, that my husband would be a little bit tougher than I like. Mm -hmm. He reminded me <laughs> to a large degree degree mm -hmm. of my dad. Mm -hmm. And and you know, they say that we marry people like our fathers. Mm -hmm. I didn't see it, but I did it. Yes, ma'am. You know? yes, ma and he was, because he was tough, mm -hmm. the, the poor kids out in that sun, <laughs> cutting the grass, and I'm sneaking with the lemonade, you know. Um, and we grateful for that. Because you need, we need, we, to be honest with you, that's why parenting has to be balanced. Yes. Because as men, we have that presence, but that nurturing, yeah, bro. Not even balanced. Mm -hmm. It has to be. Yeah. We have to, even though parents don't stay together. Right. Mm -hmm. They got to be on one accord. True. Now, that's good. Yeah. Even if that child is not raised in a household with both parents mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but both parents need to be actively Certainly. involved. Certainly. And we need to be in agreement. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the things that I learned try, during my kids' younger age was to not discuss my disagreement mm -hmm. with their dad in front of them. Because, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. see, they're going to use that. Mm -hmm. All right, if they That's know true. that That's mama true. really didn't want daddy to yeah. whip it, <laughs> then we're just going to play on mom ain't going to do nothing. And so the fact that you can agree, mm -hmm. and there are, are times when we need the toughness mm -hmm. and the rigidity yes, that fathers bring. Yes, ma'am. But Fathers need to recognize that there's also a need for nurturing. Certainly. You know? And so, certainly, having boys, yes, we want to be careful that you don't make them little wimps. Yes, ma'am. I used That's to hear right. that all the time from my husband. Don't That's make right. him. Well, I wasn't trying to make him that, but I also, there's a hard world out there. True. And my theory used to be that whatever the world did to them out there, mm. when they hit 3226, mm. you're going to find peace here. Yes. You know, and they have learned, wow. even as growing up, wow. that home ought to rec represent peace. Yes. Home, all that arguing and all that mm. stuff that we mm. might be doing as adults. Mm. Children need to know that no matter how bad mm -hmm. it is out there. Because, mm -hmm. you know, the other thing that I realized, we don't know what our children might be experiencing. Mm -hmm. And, and um, not to cut you off, mm -hmm. uh, as, as I grow as an adult, as a parent, father, I have to learn to think, like, going back to saying we didn't have opinions as kids. Right. Like, like, He's a human being. So That's right. Yeah. He he thinking something, so yeah. ask him what he think, you know what I'm saying? He might correct me about something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I True. Ain't got right. no right. True. Yes. True. And I can't yes. be, oh, who you talking to? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah you're right. So, uh -huh. so mm -hmm. it, I, I think that if we learn to value them as human Amen. first, Amen. you know, Amen. Uh, because you're not going to be able to teach them the love of the Father Amen. if all you've been is a disciplinarian. Mm -hmm. So that mm -hmm. if we have taught them about a heaven and a hell and you only presented hell, mm -hmm. then <laughs> what about the other side? <laughs> <laughs> so true, so true, so true. And so I, I think that as parents and growing up in a society that is of course different from the one you grew up in.
but how do you make these little individuals men? Mm -hmm. How do you turn out something that is, you know, you took what God created and made it better? Mm -hmm. What do you do to make sure that you don't have to tell God I'm sorry mm -hmm. because I didn't do, mm -hmm. you know? So when, when we think a little bit about the, the differences between how fathers and mothers parent. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Are there things that you think your kids have read? Your, your, your son uh, is with you full time. Is that correct? Okay. And the rapport that he has with his mom, mm -hmm. what does he ever talk about a difference or do you see a difference in how you all parent? Mm -hmm. Not really a difference. She <laughs> might let him do certain stuff mm -hmm. that I want to do. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, she live about everything up to me in a way. Even when he was little, she would call me, like, he did this, he did that. I'm mm -hmm. like, I stay way across town. Yeah. <laughs> By the time I get there, you're going to be like, no, don't leave me alone. Right, right, right. 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 I, I think, though, that especially when it comes to raising boys. Mm -hmm. I, I mentor several female groups and I hear women say I was the mama and the dad and I correct them mm -hmm. because if that were the case, mm -hmm. God wouldn't have made two. That's right. If he intended for you to do both, mm -hmm. then why did he need a father? Mm -hmm. And so we sometimes make the mistake of saying that I do both. Mm -hmm. uh, no, you can do the best you can mm -hmm. at what you work That's with. That's right. That's right. But it is vital yes, that if that other parent is not in the household, mm -hmm. that there's somebody in that child's life that feels that need. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. grandmas. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. and um, the other day, one of the five-year-old got in trouble and mm -hmm. her mom called me and said, I'm going to tell Gigi on you. <laughs> well, at least they know that if Gigi get a call, mm -hmm. you're going to be in trouble. That's we ain't going to get a All right? <laughs> Uh, that down. Yes, I know I ain't gonna do it Wednesday, but Thursday. Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what it is. They already know. That's your soft spot. Yes, ma'am. But, but I think it's it's important. Yes, ma'am. Certainly. You know. So I know that both of you were raised in church. Yes, ma'am. Tell me what effect you think the belief in the Bible, even if we didn't agree, mm -hmm. but you recognize now as an adult things that your parents did that came straight from the word. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you think or how you think the word benefits parents in raising children. For so many reasons. Uh, um, my father and my mother, um, I, I would say a great deal of it has put in values of respect. Mm -hmm. Definitely, number one, respect for authority. I don't care um, how many... Uh, bad decisions and the moments that I had in my yeah, life, yeah. Uh, what remains consistent is respect for the generation that came before me. Yeah. My parents absolutely had zero tolerance with disrespect. Yeah. And that's just not, um, not just not doing what they say, but yes. just your your tone, yes, how you yes. carry yourself. You know, it is, it is yes ma'am, it is no ma'am. And just, just those values, those qualities, even in working, being amongst people, me uh, being afforded opportunities to be in so many different settings mm -hmm. with uh, those that are older than me, just having that reverence of understanding that those that have come before you, they have more on their back. Yeah. They, they've paved this way. You are what you are today because of those that are there. And so uh, recognizing that and also uh, a great deal of uh, work ethic and okay. things of that nature. Wow. Um, without going into great details, but one of the things that lessons that also that I also took away and that I try to implement in my parenting today is the Bible says, "Provoke not your children uh -huh. to wrath." Uh -huh. Sometimes we hear a lot of the "you need to obey," yeah. but sometimes parents are the problem. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Yes. See, a and lot that's of so. They didn't really talk yeah, about they, and that's that. the real yeah. thing. And so yeah. it becomes a one-sided thing. And yes. and so. Like, you know, my homeboy said it, and I agree wholeheartedly. There, there are times, I remember um, one particular day, because my, my sons, both of them, they have this like me. Mm -hmm. If you give them your word, yes. mm -mm, yes. do not, if you right. say it, you have yes. to do it. Yes. They don't, they don't want to hear that. No excuses. And, and I don't want to hear it either. Yes. So I, <laughs> they, they're not going to forget. Either. Yeah, they're yeah, not no. going to forget. No. And so one particular, one particular day, um, my son... 
um, Amar had asked me to do something. He was probably at that time, he was like three years mm-hmm. old. I totally had forgot about right. it. It wasn't even on my mind. And and he came to me. He said, Daddy, are we going to do this? And, and I said, oh, Lord. He said, but Daddy, mm-hmm. you said. Mm-hmm. I was like, you're right. <laughs> right. right. I, you know, because old school, yeah. I know what I... <laughs> nah, 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 I ain't gonna do it. Yeah, Since gonna you, do it. Okay, come on now. Nah, nah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So just those yeah. things, stuff, just small things, even like and, that. And I think those, those, when we talk about Bible, it might not have been a Bible class. Yes, ma'am. But we learn Bible principles yes, from there. Yes, ma'am. Like truth. Yes, ma'am. You know, yes, ma'am. if you say, give me your word, yes, ma'am. then I expect you to be able to yes, ma'am. that you're gonna yes, do ma'am. that. Yes, you know, yes, ma'am. I, I think. That a lot of times in this generation, we think that we, our parents were too rigid, mm-hmm. and therefore we kind of, mm-hmm. but yeah, maybe we can temper it some, mm-hmm. but I need for us to be careful mm-hmm. not to assume that everything our parents did was bad. Absolutely. You know? That's right. There's some good that we Great. can bring yes. from. Great. Yes. 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 I don't even think the stuff they did was really bad. No. Okay. At, me personally, I think I wish they would have uh, talked Talk more, more. Mm-hmm. about certain mm-hmm. stuff instead of like trying to shield you. Cause oh, nowadays wow. you nowadays they gonna see stuff yeah. anyway. Yeah, exactly. you can't, yeah. You can't right. even hide it from, so you might as well talk to them nowadays. Right. And that's right. that's a that's big, good. That's a big thing. Yeah. I, I think them. previous generations felt like children couldn't handle it, Mm -hmm. you know, Mm -hmm. uh, this is grown up talking, Mm -hmm. you know, Mm -hmm. we weren't even allowed in the room Mm -hmm. when grown people were talking. If you needed to ask somebody something, you better make it quick (laughs) and get on out of here. (laughs) Don't you see grown people in here? (laughs) But we were not exposed to the things that your children... Can I tell you something? No, we heard it anyway. But go, go. Oh, we we, we, <laughs> we heard it in a way. We 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 we, 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 we act like we. I mean, we knew we could tell you we heard it, but we heard it. We'd be like, man, did you know? <laughs> I got a lot of stuff now that I'm grown. Yeah, mom be like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's so real. <laughs> but I, I, I think of like. Family reunion, yes, and you get together, you talk yes, about ma'am. Uncle So and so, yes, and somebody mm-hmm. said, You know, mm-hmm. that that wasn't her sister, that mm-hmm. was her baby. See? She was like, Fuck <laughs> 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 I didn't all that away from us. So, with, with this generation, oh, between what they are taught, mm-hmm. what they see on television, mm-hmm. I try to tell my grandchildren, Be careful what you watch in mm-hmm. front of them. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. I don't even mm-hmm. like most stuff on BET. Mm-hmm. That's not entertainment mm-hmm. for me, mm-hmm. but that's me. I got you. Uh, but when you got little people in the room mm-hmm. and the language on the movie mm-hmm. is what you're telling them not to use, mm-hmm. why you pay Comcast mm-hmm. to teach it to them? Mm-hmm. So that mm-hmm. we've got to be careful what we expose them to. Mm-hmm. And I think with, with, with boys, again, mm-hmm. the, the fact that they're growing up in a world where they've got to be tough on mm-hmm. some hands, and then, on the other hand, know the difference between uh, what's, when they say that I did this because he dissed me. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. When my grandson was in school, yes, my prayer every day was that he learned to temper, mm-hmm. you know, to not be um, in such a hurry to fight and mm-hmm. because... Mm-hmm. You can't beat everybody. That's right. You sure and, can. And, you sure can not. You you might have got this one, but <laughs> nowadays that one got a whole bunch of friends. <laughs> and and so the world that you're raising children in, <laughs> you know, where um, racial inequities <laughs> and and the disrespect for women and <laughs> and we can talk about the reasons why it exists, but the truth of the matter is it, it exists. Yes, ma'am. How do you teach boys? their role mm-hmm. as a a good man. Mm-hmm. When 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 if I were to ask your boys mm-hmm. what is a good man, what would they tell me? My so, let me tell you what my boys gonna say first. Okay. They're gonna say I'm fun. See okay. I, I don't know everything. Okay. A good man is fun. Okay. I don't know why everything is about fun. <laughs> um but I will also say um 
they will also say, even at their age, a good man is somebody who's honest, okay. um, who keeps their word, mm -hmm. um, that works hard. Yeah. Um, oh, wow. I asked my sons one day, um, actually recently, I said, why y'all love daddy? Why y'all love me? Mm -hmm. And uh, their first answer was, I'm fun. Uh -huh. That's okay. fine. I'll okay. deal with it. <laughs> like, you're so fun. So like, you're fun. And I said, I said, well, what else? They said, well, um, you buy us things. They're telling me provision. <laughs> uh, you make sure we eat. You tell us when we're wrong, but you give us a hug. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and those wow. are things that my, my son, even for Father's Day, and uh, I told him, I said, boy, listen, I'm too tough to cry. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to cry. I'm going to be crazy. I'm going to yeah. cry. He said to me, he said, Daddy, he said, if I could give you all the money in the world, that to me yeah. said I'm his hero. Right. And for me that says a great level of I have so much more to do. Mm -hmm. Uh I am I have so it, it puts a weight on me to say, Lord, help me to be consistent, mm -hmm. help me to be better, help me to be even greater in his eyes. What 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 can I be? Because sometimes what I will say is as fathers, mm -hmm. I feel like we I feel like we are some of the most uh, not celebrated heroes. Yes. Um, they want to put tool sets and, and ties, mm -hmm. and they're telling us everything about what they say is go work. Right. But not be celebrated. Yeah. Um, as if, and, and so my prayer, my desire is that as they grow, mm -hmm. the changes that they go through mm -hmm. help me to be equipped, let me have the wisdom that I have what is necessary right. that they go through. And and I lastly say this, the reason why that was so important and powerful to me, because I remember at that age feeling that way about my father. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I, and, and I want to talk to you about your son because he's older. He's older. And what he has grasped about fatherhood. Mm -hmm. But so many times I think that when when we look at how far as fathers might not be recognized mm -hmm. as much as you know, mm -hmm. I, I heard somebody preach on Father's Day about how Mother's Day is celebrated, and and there's pros and cons as to why that is. Certainly, gets, yes, you know. Uh, but fathers who are active in their mm -hmm. children's lives, I don't think they will have that problem. Mm -hmm. You know, because your boys already know that daddy is there. Mm -hmm. I think at their age. Fun is important, mm -hmm. but fun really says you listen to me. Mm -hmm. And it is wow. so wow. important that I have a say so. That's that, so wisdom. That so when wisdom. we're riding in the car, mm -hmm. you know, that even though we're laughing mm -hmm. about it, mm -hmm. I learned something from that. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. tell me what if your son had to define fatherhood? <laughs> uh, <laughs> as a as a little kid. He will say the same thing, did he say, uh -huh. um, fun, mm -hmm. buy me things, as a preteen or whatever you want to call them. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you probably say work hard, um, kind, helpful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> try to spend a lot of time with the people he loves. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and can I just say to our audience mm -hmm. how valuable yes, that we didn't talk about anything uh, that requires lots of money. No, ma'am. What we're talking about in terms of good fathers yes, is the time you put yes, in. Yes, ma'am. That's the yes, number one thing. Yes, and, yes. and so many times I think we make excuses for why we didn't do mm -hmm. fathers who didn't come around on the mm -hmm. child's birthday because mm -hmm. they didn't have any money. Mm -hmm. That child could care less. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. my grandchildren are not grown. They're mm -hmm. in their 20s and 30s. Mm -hmm. And the things that they remember coming mm -hmm. to Granny's house mm -hmm. was baking brownies. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. uh, that we could paint our nails on the floor. Mm -hmm. The time that you put in with children, mm -hmm. they might forget what you bought them for Christmas. That's right. You know, yes, but you were there. Yes, ma'am. And I want to commend you. you all for number one, recognizing that it is important. Yes, ma'am. That the day will come when they're at 30. Yes, ma'am. When they're sitting around telling their kids, this is what my daddy did. <laughs> you, know, you all be old. You know, I try to say almost great, but yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know. it's in us early now. <laughs> <laughs> it's in us yeah. early now. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. The, the things that you learned, and let's talk a little bit about your fathers. Okay. Both of you 
had fathers who were, what, what's the word? Do, do I want to say straight? Do I want to say, I, yeah. I don't consider them harsh, mm -hmm. but they were they men's were men. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, definitely that. Definitely. My, my daddy, and you know what, a lot of that is a, a way that when I interact with uh, peers, or even those that are older than me, it's like, I can tell you was raised around a man. You're a man's man. Mm -hmm. A lot of that, I'd be like, I'm not going for that. Uh -huh. I, 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 I actually told, said the other day, I said, you know, I said, I think my dad is who made me talk. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, my dad, he, he, I, I remember one particular time, because um, some of our church kids, yeah. and I know my, my own boy, Steve, and couldn't, couldn't recognize this, we couldn't get away with nothing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Every, you can do what everybody else is doing, you're going to get called. So this yeah. particular time, I was in in-school suspension for fighting. Okay. And the only reason why I had in-school suspension this particular time and they didn't send me home was because it it stopped like right in the nick of time as it was coming, but it was too much. I had to beat the brakes off that book. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, I beat the brakes off it. And, and, and it was... And, it was for a good reason. I still, I, I, oh. I, I said that. <laughs> I had to say, I, 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 I still he, said for good reason. We were told he, not to go bother him. We were, but we, he, he, had, he, had, he, he had to, and so what happened was, it was a girl that was there, Was she was really my friend. Uh -huh. And he kept messing with her, and she kept telling, she was like, leave me alone. Okay. So he done got all up in her face, and I was like, man, leave her alone. He's like, what you want to do? I said, this, what? Oh. <laughs> Took my backpack off. <laughs> I'm ready to show it. I ain't got time. <laughs> pop, pop, pop. Two piece and a biscuit. Okay. <laughs> I, right there. So they done came, and you know, whatever, whatever. Did that stuff. So they, 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 I done beat the brakes off them. They done, right. they done put me in school <laughs> suspension. So the first day, yeah, I made it out. My daddy didn't know. Second day, I don't know what possessed him to come check me out of school early. Wow. So they come that. across the thing. I said, they like, Mr. Easton, do you have a Derek Mercer in, in the day? He's like, yes. I said, I am dead. His, his father is here to check him out. I said, I am dead. <laughs> so my daddy, I get, I get up. I get up. You know, he signed me out. My daddy, he's like, I'm going to take you up. He's he going off. He's going yeah. off. But this particular time he didn't win when we got in the car, he said, I just got one question for you. Did you win? Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I said, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. All right, let's just go get some knees. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, that's a daddy yeah. thing. That's a daddy thing. Now, he didn't play about if it's disrespect, right. if it's done, he, right. he not going for that. Yeah. But as it relates to standing up for yourself, right. protecting yourself, and in good on, like understanding he, that's that's what he did, and, and so yeah. <laughs> I, I I think that when we look at the relationships that fathers have, and mm -hmm. especially black men, mm -hmm. you know, I, I'm I'm not saying that there's a difference mm -hmm. when it comes to how we parent, mm -hmm. but the world for black boys mm -hmm. is different. So They're just fake. It is. It is. You know. And we've got to be honest with them and explain to them, you know, that there's sometimes you're gonna to have to bite your tongue. Yes, ma'am. Because I won't don't want you coming home day. Yes, right. You know. That's right. But at the same time, teaching them about respect, how to the respect that they should have for women. Yes. You know. Yes. yes. You cannot expect or count on the world system to teach them that. Yes, ma'am. And a lot of things I I, I tell this story so often. I was at the St. Augustine Mall. It's been a while now. But anyway, there was a couple walking toward me, and they had on matching T-shirts. Mm -hmm. And her T-shirt had an arrow pointing towards him, mm -hmm. and it said, I'm his hoe. Ooh. And, oh. and her, his shirt had an arrow pointing towards her. It said, she's my hoe. Mm. Now, it took me a while because, you know, mm. Mother Stripling is still in. Oh, yes, right. I yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, <laughs> yes, ma <laughs> but I thought about it uh, from both perspectives. Yes, ma'am. For a man to be proud to call his woman mm. that, you know, mm. uh, and for a woman to be proud to say that about herself. Mm. So then here we have this generation of men that's coming who the all of the the music the lyrics mm -hmm. talk call us that yes, and I, let's be real we say that about ourselves mm. so that in terms of teaching young african american men how to respect females who don't even know how to respect themselves mm -hmm. i'm going to ask you all to take that assignment yes ma'am you got these boys and yours is closer to dating than yours mm -hmm. 
you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah bro. And how... I'm praying for you, bro. How, how do you teach him how to respect this female? The way I care of myself. Um, okay. The, the women I deal with in my life. Yes. Um, it's certain things. Uh, like when we out and about, I try to point out a little certain stuff. What you want to bring home to mom, what you don't want to bring home to mom. But that don't mean they're a bad person. Yes, yeah, right, you know right, so. yes. We're going to have to, I, 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 I just absolutely, I started to say I hate time, no, no, no. but uh, <laughs> it has its place. But the, the, the information that you all have shared, I am so grateful. Thank you for having that us. That Thank you, for you us. came grateful. and somebody out there is already benefiting yes, because God didn't waste his resources. Amen. With that being the case, thank you so much for joining us and we look forward to sharing with you again next time. Relationship. Or maybe your relationship is going great and you just want to strengthen the bond between the two of you. In any case, tune in to Ask Mama E, a show intended to assist in creating and keeping the strongest relationships. Join and watch Mama E, the relationship expert, using her wisdom to guide others into forming stronger bonds. The office of the bishop is more of a lifestyle than a nine to five job. Hi. I'm Bishop Michael Johnson, and I'm the Chancellor of the Episcopal Academy. You know, although it is important that a bishop has a functional and valuable office with a staff, but that's not what makes us who we are. It is the inner life of Christ working in us so we can affect the world around us. Join us for the new podcast as we discuss the Episcopal Word. For products? Are you looking to advertise? Maybe to get the word out to thousands of people on a daily? You should consider the Inspired Network. We have affordable packages that can assist you at getting the word out about your product or business. Call us today at 866-804-6774. Your financial support keeps the ministry alive. You can be a blessing by sewing via Cash App today at dollar sign Teach Jacks or you can text to give at 833-481-1524 and text the word So you've been watching the show. Would you like to be a content provider yourself and develop a show for the Inspire Network? Please give us a call today at 904-389-5592 or go to www.connecttv.info to submit a show idea. Have a praise report or a testimony of how any of the programming at the Inspired Network has been a blessing to you? Please go to www.myprayerrequest.info. Click on the tab testimony and submit it today. The IPC prayer team would love to know how effective the ministry is being to you. Do you love video production? Would you like to have a career in video production but don't know where to start? Your problem is you have no one to teach you. Well, the Inspired Television Network is initiating its apprenticeship program. We'll teach you video production, how to set up the simple camera operation, post-production, and advanced editing. Imagine sitting down with an expert and being taught weekly how to do it. It's a six-month program that requires a minimum of 10 hours a week of hands-on training and three hours a week of classroom training. You've always wanted to make movies or learn production. This is the perfect program for you. Give us a call today at 904-389-5592 or sign up at www.learntv.today. It's free for churches and nonprofits. Do you need a morning prayer line? A place you can call to hear from God? Call the International Prayer Council Intercessory Prayer Line Monday through Saturday at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 